history, I think, is key to STEM education. Uh, STEM education is all about um, giving kids careers as well, and this is where industry can play a very big role, not only in the motivational aspect, but also in helping um, educators shape how they teach kids and what they teach them, and, and how they help them advance in their, in their careers and their aspirations. So there's a number of ways to do this. Industry can provide um, more mentorship to teachers, they can provide better internship paths as well for some of the students. Um, and industry can also provide a better indication of what is required uh, for students to know to be successful later in careers in STEM uh, and in technology in general. So um, it, it is a very key uh, a role that industry has to play. I have to say one of the latest and greatest achievements of STEM education in, in our country, um, I think, is the program that we are uh, developing. It's called M-Schools. And uh, M Schools basically intends to use mobile technologies and you know technologies and the internet in general uh, to improve education, to transform uh, how kids are being taught, to transform what they are being taught, and uh, to prepare them uh, for uh, what they really need in the future, which is you know basic problem-solving skills, uh, creativity, uh, coding, entrepreneurship. So a bunch of competencies that uh, nowadays are difficult to find. Um, or there are challenges in how to implement these in education. So uh, this actually makes uh, things interesting for kids and that's very important because um, kids are not going to be motivated to do things if they don't find them interesting and STEM is a challenge for them. Many times they find uh, STEM careers to be far away from what they see in everyday life. So M Schools actually brings this uh, feeling of doing something useful to the kids, doing something that they understand and at the same time fully brings STEM into the classroom and into education. STEAM is a very interesting concept because it adds the word uh, art in some cases and other people are already changing that word, um, but it adds the word the arts into something that was already complex per se, which was you know science, technology, engineering, math. Um, so I think the idea behind this is to try to make STEM be more of a creative uh, environment uh, versus what kids perceive it and what some educators perceive as being a very technical subject. So bringing the arts into this, I think really tries to stimulate the creative part of it, um, the, the collaborative part of it, so that we look at uh, STEM as a little bit different than we used to look at it in the past, where it was getting making sure the kids knew how to do math or they knew how to you know, solve equations. And this is not really the point. The point is having kids understand that behind science, there's a very creative process that needs to be understood, that needs to be worked with. And I think the arts and you know, the design people and a lot of these people can help us bring creativity into that, which makes it much more powerful. So collaboration is, sounds you know, it's a nice word, but how is it done and why should I do it? So I think we do need to help teachers collaborate, train them and give them uh, possibly platforms or spaces where they can do so. Um, and I think this doesn't exist today, at least not in the countries that I've seen. So this is a big challenge. They need to understand what it is, how, it's, how it can be done, and how this can improve their, uh, their uh, pedagogy and their educational experiences. Um, at M Schools, we are actually creating an environment for teachers to collaborate and work on uh, curricular materials, new pedagogies, and new methodologies, but also bringing the industry in. So uh, it's not only collaborating between the educational community, but it's seeding it with ideas and thoughts from other industries and other parts of the, uh, of the ecosystem that can actually enrich the uh, results of this collaboration.